In this video, we are going to be completing steps eight, nine, and 10. Step number eight states, open up the zipper halfway. So before we can even move on to our next step, we wanna open up our zipper until it is halfway open, okay? If you forget to open up your zipper, you're gonna be very sad because you're gonna have to take out quite a bit of stitches. So open it up halfway for me. Step number nine says, bring both outer pieces together so that they are laying right sides together, pin. Step number 10 says, pin lining fabrics right sides together. So we're gonna do step nine and 10 at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our outer pieces up so that they are in line. You'll notice that my lining pieces are flat on the table and I'm just gonna pick it straight up and you notice that they lay together. So for the sake of time, I like to lay it flat with the lining pieces right sides together and the outer sides, outer pieces right sides together. And we want to line them up the best that you can. So I'm gonna start with my, let's start with my outer. I'm gonna turn it around. So we're gonna line these up and we're just gonna pin um, until we get to the zipper, okay? Um, when you pin, as always, you want the ball of the zipper to be out because when you sew, you are going to pull that pin out. So we'll have about three on each side. Making sure that my edges are lining up. And then we are gonna pin all the way across the bottom. And um, we do not pin our two cutout corners. Once again, as you're going, make sure that your edges are lining up. You may have to kind of maneuver them to make sure that they line up. This fabric, your outer fabric is gonna be um, a little harder to handle just because it has the interfacing, which makes it a little more stiff. Okay, so we have pins. Now I'm gonna rotate this around. I'm gonna work on my lining fabric. Before we can even begin pinning our lining fabric, we wanna take a look at our zippers on each side. We want the teeth of the zipper to go in the same direction. So I'm gonna open this up so you can see it. I want the teeth of my zippers to be facing up towards my outer fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch my zipper and fold it in half, okay? Because um, we want our teeth to both be up towards the outside of our bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin, I'm gonna drop this back down. Pin my teeth, drop my pin, um, in half, okay? Think of it like the top of a bag, the teeth are up, so that's what I want. I want the teeth to go up. And if this, because it's really hard to see on video, if this is tricky, um, come see me and I'll be more than happy to help. So I'm going to pin that in half, okay? And I'm going to do the same on this side. And this side's a little easier because the teeth are already separated. So you want to turn the zipper teeth so that they are going up towards your bag. And I kind of have to maneuver these because they don't naturally want to go up that way. But I promise you it will make your life a little easier. And like I said, don't be frustrated if you can't get the first time. I'm gonna pin my zipper teeth together, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to do the same thing that I just did. I'm gonna pin all the way around the lining of my bag. The only thing that is gonna be different is just like we did with our mask, we wanna leave a three finger opening in the bottom middle of your lining piece. So three fingers, and you can mark that with your pins. Like I showed you with your mask, you're going to do a double pin. Um, double pins signal start or stop with like a stop sign. Um, so you wanna backstitch at your double pins. And like I said, make it a three finger opening. If it's too small, some of you figure this out with your mask, you're not gonna be able to turn your bag inside out. Okay, so here's my opening that I am not going to sew. And then I'm gonna pin down the sides and then across the bottom where I need to sew. Pin down the side, and I'm gonna pin down our other side. Okay. 
And then this is the end of step eight, nine, and 10. After you get these pinned, you're gonna be ready to move on to step number 11.